This sure is a blank screen. Okay. Most folks don't know about the war in point four font. Probably for the best, not my decision. The Bureau has gone by many names over the centuries, but our mission remains the same. Hold them back. In point five font. I have to actually touch anything. It's going to be a long night. Time to walk. I hear rain. Rust is a real depreciator of value, friend. The only thing keeping me from tossing you back into the abyss is your ability to assist the Bureau. Well, let's settle up then, partner. Okay, we've got a talking sword. Agent, we've been flooded with reports of nocturn nocturnal paranormal disturbances emanating from the abandoned Ruggles Morse estate on the edge of town. Morse had a known history with the occult before he disappeared. I would label this location as a high potential for a gate. Find it and destroy it. Proceed with utmost caution. M. N. Grand? Grant? Agentus? Find and destroy the gate. Normal under undead resistance. Right, so it's like Goldeneye difficulty where you have more objectives. Well, the loading time for the intro was long, so the mansion full stop. An abandoned estate, he's opened the door to the underworld here. No much time, I can shut it, but you need to get me there. I like how the talking sword lets you know that yes, this is actually going to be a portal to the underworld and it's not like, oh, mysterious disturbance as rumors say. Like it or not, you need me. I don't like it, but I'll make do. Strafing horse. Rotating horse. How do I melee? Bonk. This looks very rough in terms of movement. Like, usually first person games, you're like, oh man, it's like silky smooth. And I've played games by these guys before, they're usually a little silkier than this. Boom. Is someone shooting at me? Yes, would be the answer. Oh shit, okay. Get got. Nice head you had once. So if I press R, I don't reload. Right click. Pretty sure that wasn't on the head, but okay. Bit of like torchlight or anything. New nope. staircase. Sure, I want to shoot that. Yeah, what are you gonna do with your no hands? You're trying to peck me? Oh 
yeah, I suppose I should have been walking around the top for reasons. Well, it's a good thing they stay still before and after they shoot, isn't it? and it's a safe point. Jumped through the neck, didn't I? Boing, 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 boing. Thank you, AI pathfinding, to make him take the most obvious route into the barrel of my gun. can use their eyeballs to find them in the darkness, that's neat. Oh shit. The one above me? Yeah, it would have made sense symmetrically, wouldn't it? Because there's one in the middle, two on the right, and then one came up the left. So this guy's probably coming up the right staircase at the same time. Shotgun. Ooh, fuck you, mate! Wasn't there a red thing around here? Forwards, we're having trouble going upstairs. Dogs! Wow! Health? Oh, please. Right, well, it looks like he died before the explosive barrel, which is unfortunate. It's 
stack of dynamite. Right, I'm looking for health right now. Hello? Oh! I mean, of course it's an ambush, duh. One body shot to get them to sort of stay still or slow the fuck down. No, it's hit to disappear. No rusty cage opening yet. Now it's running smoother. Oh, hey Peter, you're the uh, color blend effects guy, right? How's it going? Were there any late entries into the speedrun thing, or it's just the three people? What did we win again? Like a code from Humble Bundle? Something like that? Why is there a staircase here? Oh, okay, okay. It's for this bridge, right? So we're going up to this obelisk, I guess. The game's running slightly smoother now, at least. This is another door. Oh, right. It's a waypoint, isn't it? Save. Well, the save points over there, that sort of suggests that yeah, nothing important here. This is just where the big guy and his dogs come out of. Yeah, oh well. The, the first person who posted... I don't know how they even play the game. It's like running so slow for them, and like you said, they're running it without like a dedicated graphics card. Like, how, how can you even play games like that? It seems like such a miserable experience to just be moving at like quarter speed. Oh well. No, that's just a thing. It's weird, in black and white, everything looks like a potential enemy. Right, I could get my eyes peeled for dots on rooftops. Oh god, no. Go in, though! God. Alright. Someone on the roof is shooting at me. There was a little whistling noise. There he is. Am I in a fire or something? Done yet? Thank you. Right, green. Is there a staircase up here? Maybe go along the grass ridge somehow? Bullets. Is it? Yeah, it's regular bullets. First it is horrible, you know, I don't even have the numbs. Yeah, it's just insane. Before I started running it, like, I looked at the... I opened up the two videos. Actually, no, I did a run, then I looked at the two videos, and I just opened them up and looked at the run times, and I'm like... <laughs> okay, this is easy. <laughs> this is easy. Yeah, th there wasn't too much to find, but the, the other Peter, he had some good optimizations in his, his run. It's just he had problems with the giant blob at the beginning of the universe. He just kept dying to that over and over and over and over. But uh, the one where there's the two yellow walls and the pink blob and the yellow pool, he's got a good one where you get a yellow blob up and you kill it at a certain point away from the wall and it destroys the wall, but the yellow paint also hits the pink blob coming out of the pipe at the same time. That was really smart. Uh, right, how do I get to that? Yeah, no, don't fall down. Gah! Maybe some other way to get to it from above. That doesn't smash. Door. Ah, oh well. Yeah! Ah, oh, no! Get away from me, please! There's another one. 
the hell? What hit me? This thing was dead, wasn't it? Hold on. He's done. This is the gate that we looked up from the bottom. I'm stuck on something? Hmm, yeah, I can't remember if it's too different before you patched anything, but it de definitely seems weird with the lack of cyan around and the gate specifically asking for it. I could just put it down to a bit like the university gates have malfunctioned. Oh, didn't even iron sights. Who are you? Oh, civilian killed? Whoops. I guess that's what the red thing meant. Don't kill them. Oh, there he is. Save point. Okay, okay. Well, thank you for getting back to me. Uh, turn back and I may overlook the trespass, says a weird shape, the conqueror worm. The what? dead. From running it a couple of times, um, my only sort of real thoughts are sometimes jumping out of the two tile high pools. It feels like your character's got to jump to get the arms over the ledge and then jump again to pull themselves out. I don't know if that's something you're intentionally doing to make it feel like you're putting your arms on the edge of a pool and then pulling yourself out. But it feels weird not being able to just jump straight out of the pool. Specifically talking about the the clear yellow and red pool to form the orange key at the end of the library. And library feels Library feels long. It's like you gotta go around, then you gotta go to the bottom right, and then you gotta go to the thing. No, you go you gotta go all the way around the place to get the books. Then you gotta go up to the top specifically to get a book, and you're past point no return, you gotta come back to the middle. Then to the bottom right. Then back to the middle. Then go back down after you've interacted with the chest a couple of times. And then at the bottom right, you gotta go back to the bottom middle and then to the bottom right. It's sort of like zigzagging all over the place in the same environment. It's fine, it just feels like... In the run, it feels like it takes up three or four minutes. Okay, well, dynamite does a good bit of damage. I guess I should be running in circles or something. Pulls enough to jump, the library is the most optimal route. What do you mean the library is the most optional, optimal route? Like, that's the ho that's a whole area. You can't complete the library in a single lab. I know, I know, it's just... It feels like it's more than two labs, though. It feels like it's a whole bunch. Stick a dynamite, yeah. Yeah, go. And these guys just fall down. These guys made some interesting uh, short first-person shooter games before. It was Sis Crusher and... What was the one that's on a ship? Was it called Stowaway or something? So I think they're going for like a longer form game here. It seems like more typical first-person stuff. Maybe more story-driven. Well, I don't know, story, but like... Narrative-driven, I guess, is probably the way... Is narrative just a fancy way of saying it's got story, but people don't talk to you all the time? All right, we got a guy with a gun behind me. Where's the shotgun? Here it is. Gun guy's down? Cool. And that 
that's fine. Two lamps is optimal, all three. You need to get the roof to take the white book, then you must paint it. Then take it back to, yeah, that's right, then go back. These are just empty spawning rooms, I think. Yep. Regular pistol. Civilian, do not kill. Get it right this time. Drones and stuff. Oh, shotgun boy. Uh oh. That was uh, not too smooth. Well, whoever's shooting at me is not on this side of the building. Ow! Whoops. Right, what about the civilian? Can we just, like, rescue him? Freed. Okay, now what? Where are you gonna run? This is a hell of a run animation. <laughs> the characters don't do staircases very well in this game. Okay, he's just gonna give up because he can't jump out of the hall. Library is inspired by the Resident Evil series with the bit with the snake, or just in general going around and having to revisit areas and combine things. I can understand. You have to make like a whole bunch of different animations and stuff. It's it's nice in games like Dishonored where like I think once one of the NPCs is like standing on the staircase talking to me and as I moved around him like he'd twist and like he'd rearrange his feet on the staircase and everything. That must take a lot of technical, you know, behind the scenes programming to get right. I can understand why a lot of people just miss out the legs on first person characters as well. Oh. No, I thought he blew up. It's just him firing his thing in the first place. What's that? Does the waypoint, like, look very similar to the Tesla logo? Box. We got loads of bullets. You can just use this to open boxes at a distance. Oh, explosive barrel. Didn't notice it because it's not red. Lights. Oh, what the fuck? Explosive things, maybe? Ah! Oh, it's those orbs that finally landed somewhere near me. Dogs are the worst in this game. They're all over you and they hit you repeatedly, whereas everyone just stands in front of you like a big idiot. Unfortunately, a lot of people seem to be dying in one shot. New weapon. Can I make this jump? Nice. It's a... That was an objective? That is a much easier program. That's... I can believe that. I 
because it gets tricky when you have to decide like how far can people be away before they like snap to the ladder whilst holding up. Shotgun. No? Oh, it's not dogs. They'll be fine. I think they still want you to be accurate with the shotgun. Like these these guys, like they don't really mean much, but still they survive just a general shot to the body. At a relatively close range. Was this theater? Boy, dogs, it's dogs, it's dogs, ah! Who's this shooting shit? Oh god, it's some caco demon thing. He's dead now. Are the dogs still... what the fuck? I can't see any floor. I'm still hearing noises. All oh, right, that, those are definitely the dogs. This must be where the dynamite went off and the burning thing. Get freed. Was saved. Minigun. Gantling gun. Okay. I do actually need this. Because my light source, well, I guess this is my light source now. Yes, it's on like easy mode. Dogs? No? He's got no arms. Through this, oi. What the fuck? Ah, run! Ugh. Okay. Staircase. Another save point. Can I line these up? Generous hitboxes. No one's around? Or do I have to jump in to start the thing? Oh boy. Here we go. There's a fucking flying ring thing. Where's it coming from? There you are, you little shit. Okay, now it's being non-generous. I wonder if there was full damage here. Could I just jump straight down and then like all these guys shooting down at me? Oh, it's you again. Uh-oh, six.
tank gun. Let's go. shall return for you. Yeah, okay. The never ending worm. Oh god, my fish started itching badly during that. Tremendous. Get back to this gun, thanks. Is this explosive? No? Did I hurt myself on something? Or was it just because I landed on the bird? chance use me to smash the thing okay when you when you're pulling the weapon out you can press the button to attack and like there's no animation you're just still pulling the sword out but you still hit things hurry hurry where Let's go. It's one gate. Hardly time for celebration. I fear this was but death's opening act. Let's not miss the... I want to say that there was meant to be... Let's not miss the curtain, but I'm pretty sure it was spelt wrong. Did I miss an objective or something? Your efforts have not gone unnoticed, however, you should be aware that nine episodes await the full-length Kingdom of the Dead. Sooner than you think. Yeah, that's threatening Halloween, isn't it?